Good morning everyone, um, I hope you are all well, having a good day. Today is not really what I planned at all, but I'm actually going to a last minute trip to London. As basically, long story short, this week I am getting my teeth bonded by Dr. Richard's clinics and I'm so excited, I can't even tell you guys. I've wanted them done for the longest time. You guys know I've been actually using an Invisalign. Richard's been doing my teeth for like such a long time now, for like way over a year. A year? That, did, that sounded really weird. For way over a year, and he's worked magic with my teeth already, but just to like finish them off, he's going to bond my teeth. I've never like wanted to have veneers. I've always wanted to keep my own teeth. But obviously like everyone, I just want them to look perfect. So we basically discussed and thought bonding was the best way to go around it because that way I can still keep all my own teeth. So yeah, I'm just very excited. So I'm going to London for a consultation for my teeth. So that's basically the plan today. So before I walk out the door, I wanted to show you a parcel that I recently bought. I actually arrived last night and I'm so excited about it. Honestly, I think one of the best things I've ever bought, not that I've even worn them or used them yet, but I basically love just going on walks and stuff with my mum. It's something I've just been trying to do this year, a lot like since lockdown, pretty much like it's the only time we can all really get out. So I've been going for a lot of walks and stuff, but I just ruin all my shoes. Like even my, the only shoes I can really wear is my gym shoes, but even them, like I don't want, I don't, I don't want them to be like all muddy and stuff outside because they normally train in the gym and stuff. So I've been wanting to buy wellies for the longest time time and my mum owns some that's my boyfriend he's texting me and now he's ringing me my mum has some hunter wellies and she's had them for literally like i think maybe like 10 8 years um and every time she wears them i'm like oh i really want to get some wellies i just love the look of hunters i think they're so nice so i wanted to get my own and so i did and i know i could wait till christmas literally christmas is two weeks away and it was actually something i asked for however i'm pretty sure no one got them for me and to be honest i don't really ask for anything for christmas like ever so i probably should have waited but i was just so desperate for them because every time i go out for a walk i'm so, oh my god, I need to just break the whole box. That's good. I just bought some hunters and they're so cute. I can't even tell you guys. They're the little short ones and I just think they are the cutest thing in the world. I'm just excited to wear them. It just makes me want to go on a dog walk. I don't know if that's weird or not, but I got them and then I've also got some like white little hunter boot socks that I think are going to look so cute in the shoe. So my mum has like the long ones and now I'm kind of debating because she loves the short ones. She's like, oh my god, the short ones are so cute. I'm like, oh, do I get her them for Christmas? Christmas, but I've actually already got all her Christmas presents, so maybe not, but just look how nice they look. I just think they're just the nicest little like welly boots. So anyways, that's like my favorite purchase that I bought this morning. I'm in a rush like always, so I really just shouldn't be sitting here hauling you guys what I recently bought, but I was just so excited I couldn't not show you. And then actually in my room, my room is such a mess right now, because actually I've been really good the past couple of days. So yesterday and the day before, I spent all evening, like hours on ends, just trying to just find Christmas presents I thought you know what Saf I need to get it done because like before we know it it's literally gonna be Christmas like this December is going ridiculously fast just like this year so I was like you know what Saf I just need to get it done so my room is like a pig site right now it's full of parcels and then yesterday I had a meeting in Brighton and then from that I went to Zara and picked up so much from Zara so I have so many new clothes that I'm either gonna haul to you guys in this vlog otherwise I might even do like a main channel video on it I don't know but I can't stop buying stuff recently and I really need to stop I think it's because I'm like buying other people presents I'm like oh I would actually really like that why don't I buy this for myself I don't know but I need to stop you could see my room it's just full of parcels but I'm kind of just I'm leaving that until I get back I just don't have the time right now I really just need to go to London so I'm actually gonna get in my car and get on the way it's a pit stop at Joe and the Juice now I always get asked what I get I get the Joe's Club but I swap the for mozzarella and it's so good so i just got out of my teeth appointment and i don't even know if you can hear me and it went really well but basically well i'm just going to explain everything once i get home but i'm basically going to head home as quick as i can um because even though i don't actually live that far from london it still takes like a whole day because the fact that it gets like dark at like four half past four now i feel like that's kind of my day over then so i'm really 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 gonna try and just get back asap so i'm back and I am about to wrap my Christmas presents that I bought people with the help of my mum because as we all know I literally cannot wrap to save my life so that is what I'm gonna do but it's been a good day I literally came in had dinner pajamas are on and now we're going to wrap so fun <laughs> was at 
actually. It's actually been a productive morning. I went to the gym this morning with my mum, the first time in a long time. We haven't worked out together in ages, which we absolutely love doing because it really like pushes each other, motivates each other, just because basically we've both just been like super busy. So we've just been doing like our own thing. So it was so nice just like being back at the gym with my mum. I'm also doing a competition with my boyfriend where we are basically seeing who can do the most amount of kilometers. So this is like running, walking, cycling. However, because he cycles a lot, it's like every 4K to 1K cycle to like running, walking. So anyways, we're doing this contest until the 7th of January before we have our holiday. So I'm very excited. So I'm like excited because I feel motivated for the longest time. I did a, um, I'm gonna put you down here. I did a Q and A on my Instagram last night and actually you guys really enjoyed it. And it was just so nice just being able to like interact with you and just answer a lot of your questions you've been asking. So many of the questions was like, how do you stay motivated? And I know I've said this so many times, but honestly, I'm not always motivated, but actually recently more than ever. And I feel like I just suddenly have this love again to get back to the gym and I'm just so excited. And I think a huge part of me not being motivated was honestly just because the gym closed. And before I was really embracing it. Like I was loving doing home workouts, but um, just didn't right, really quite happen uh, this lockdown 2.0. But now I feel good again. And I'm very, very, very excited just to get fit, set some new goals. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Also, oh my God, I can't actually believe the love that I've had from, oh my God, I'm like, basically it's, the camera's too high. So I'm having to like kneel up. I can't believe the love that I've had on my Instagram. I'm honestly overwhelmed, especially right before I went to bed. So I did like a Q and A and somebody asked why my calves are so fat. And honestly, it didn't offend me. Like not even offend me. Like actually it's a really rude thing to say, but like it didn't upset me at all. But I thought I'd respond to it because like the only, well, the one part of my body that I actually love the most is my calves and my legs. And I genuinely have like really muscly calves. So I just replied saying it's muscle. And like my DMs were full of the absolute nicest, just comments and replies ever. Like genuinely, thank you so much to everyone that messaged me. It means the world. I honestly could not physically reply to every single one, but I see all the messages. So thank you so much. It goes to show like as a community, we can all come together and we can all be really nice. So thank you so much for that. It's really just, yeah, made me happy today. Anyways, I've actually been wrapping presents up all morning. So I'm actually doing like a swap box video with my brother and his family. I've got like a cough. And so we're like buying loads of presents and stuff for each other. We was doing this because we didn't know if we was going to be able to spend Christmas together. Turns out we can actually have three different families for Christmas now. So we are spending Christmas together. But now we've got presents for a swap box video. They're just like little presents. So I've just been wrapping them up. And then for the first year ever, I've actually got my parents Christmas sacks. And I got these from like Etsy, you know, just trying to support little local businesses. This one says dad's presents. And then I've also got a sack that says mum presents. And obviously they're just like little bits and stuff, but I've never, huh? Yeah, that'd be me actually. I was gonna have That's a bath. Disgusting. Do you know what I did do though, Jed? I took down all your dirty washing. Well, you also left a uh, bloody bath all your dirty water. Oh, take the plug out then. Brother and sister love. Anyways, <laughs> so my mum and dad normally do our sacks every year and I think they are still doing it. But I wanted to get them sacks this year. I'm on a little bit of a tighter budget this year. Oh, wow, they're really what I'm supposed to be. So these are what the sacks look like. I just think they're so sweet. The fact they have their names on them. They're quite a good size. They're actually quite big, but like my mum's, because I've got her like bigger presents, they've already like nearly filled up the sack. So I'm actually doing quite well. I've actually got a lot more to fill up my dad's, bless him. But they will definitely Definitely have like the same amount of presents inside so it is fair but I've actually just I'm about to go online and I'm about to do a big online shop um, from Gymshark so my mum's actually out right now and she was telling me when I was at the gym today she was like I just want more Gymshark stuff it's my absolute favourite ever like you've got me hooked with the brand so I figured I'm gonna go online and actually order her some Gymsharky bits for her sack I just feel like it's such a great Christmas present especially because like everyone not even gonna lie I set this every single year Come January 1st, gonna be fitter than ever. Like the gyms are absolutely packed. So I just feel like to have nice new gym stuff at the end of December is perfect because it gets you so motivated for the new year. And so I'm gonna do the same for my dad as well because when I filmed that fitness test, actually that's the first thing of Gymshark he's ever owned. And he was like, oh my God, it's so comfy. It feels so nice. And he wears his Gymshark like joggers around the house every single day. But I figured because so many of you um, keep asking me for like ideas and stuff to get people, I'm not actually doing like a gift guide this year but I want to show you some of my absolute favorite pieces from Gymshark that I think are the most perfect like stocking or just like Christmas presents so I will show you now the ones that I wear all of the time and actually some of the bits from 
the new collection. Right, starting off, this bummer I wear every single time I go to the gym or I wear my puffer jacket and I get so many comments. You would have seen me wear my puffer and my bummer all the time and actually my mum is desperate for either of the two. I don't know if these are sold out or what but I will leave all the links to everything down below um, so you guys can directly go and just find these pieces. Obviously we all know Gymshark, the things sell out like that. So I'm hoping they still have it in stock because I either want to get my mum the puffer jacket I always wear or this bummer so we can be matchy. I know she like steals one of them from me all the time. So this is like my absolute favorite i feel like it's the most perfect christmas gift because like you can wear this every single time you go to the gym or not even just the gym like i wear this out and about you see me wear my puffer every single day i'm gonna get my mom one of the two jackets i'm not sure which one whatever one they have in stock they might even have both i might even splurge out but that's definitely gonna go in her christmas sack another one of my absolute favorite are these sports bras but basically these aren't actually meant to be very supportive and i have like bigger boobs so i need bra like sports bras that are supportive and hi mum hello i'm sorry i need sports bras that are more supportive and i find these ones like one of the most personally supportive sports bras they do this in like loads of different colors i absolutely love them they make your boobs look good too without them like falling out so i can't actually remember the exact name of what this sports bra is actually called but i think i have this in literally every single color so i will leave down in the comments below and then another one of my absolute favorite sports bras is this one here again i just love the print really really supportive for your boobs it obviously crosses over which is really nice then it crosses at the back as well i think my mom also has this one and she also has the leggings but yeah again just such a nice sports bra so they're like my absolute like top two and then my essentials that i wear like every single time i go to the gym the most flattering tops you'll ever wear like i'm not really one to just wear a sports bra i normally always like throw on a top over just over the top because when i'm like doing sit-ups in the gym and stuff it's not always that flattering so i just prefer it so this is the gym vest that i wear all the time it's a little bit tighter fitting and then i have the exact same in the long sleeve again it's like a tighter fitting and it's really nice as well i don't really know what it's called but it has like you know the little loop for your finger to go through which personally i think looks really nice but also like if you're a runner or whatever then obviously it's like really handy really good for somebody that runs but yeah i wear these gym tops i think pretty much every single time that i go to the gym so they're like a must have in my gymshark wardrobe i have about five drawers of gymshark i have so much it's crazy but i think they will always always be my favorite i'm thinking of getting my mum these so i've literally just bought them and my mum straight away was like oh my god i love them so i've actually got these in a size small i would actually size down if you get these i kind of wish i got an extra small but they are so nice they do them in so many different colors again i think she'll just like the black but they're really nice because obviously they've got like the cycling shorts underneath and they're super flattering and these are just new out as well also their bottles are amazing i absolutely love this stainless steel bottle again i'll link it and also their socks like my entire family we wear gymshark socks black and white they're just my absolute favorite i don't know maybe that's just like a bore to some people but i I love, love, love my white socks. So um, I'll also link them down below. My dad's definitely getting them in his sack. Just sat here um, doing my Gymshark order and I just saw this backpack and thought, oh my goodness, my dad would love this. So I feel like this is also the perfect like men's sort of present. Like if you're trying to shop for your dad or whatever, like this is perfect. So again, I will link it for you guys um, so you can easily find it. Oh my goodness. And I have this set, this ombre set, I also never get enough of. In fact, I'm just gonna leave all of my favorite things down below. And then, so this is what the hallway is currently looking looking like full of presents for Casey and Nicole I'm really excited though because obviously we use brown paper but I also bought this black paper and it's reversible and now mum was like oh I kind of wish that we wrapped all the presents in black or white we're very picky with our wrapping paper but I'm very very excited about this well time has definitely gone on since I last vlogged I've just spent hours basically filming a reel that oh my goodness I absolutely loved it, it actually took so long because my like light that I always use kept dying and I broke one of the batteries so anyway it's long so short i only have one so i kept having to like film a clip save it and then wait for the light to charge and then do it like that so it just took forever but anyways i just loved it so much and i'm just so angry i could scream oh my god i actually haven't even vlogged for like well, I haven't vlogged like all day, but I haven't actually, this is like an hour later and I'm still angry. You should have seen what I was like after. I just feel angry at the world. I know it's a first world problem, but it's just so annoying because I have so much work to get done and I really just needed to get this done. And now that's happened and it's literally deleted for no reason. So um, thank you so much Instagram Reels for having a nice glitch. The whole screen went black and then it deleted. So that's just... 
fun. Anyways, oh, that's probably a parcel for me. I've also just got so many more parcels. Actually, one of the things I got was this hoodie. So I actually managed to get like on time for the essentials drop. Don't even know how on earth I managed to get some stuff, but I did. So I got this hoodie and I actually got another t-shirt, which is the same color. And you probably can't see because it's quite dark now. It actually looks like black, but it is actually navy. Obviously they're right in black, so you can kind of see. But in real life, it looks more like it's just black on black. Then I literally got a top, basically the exact same thing. Thought it was quite cool, you know? So that's what I just got. And then I also got some Christmas presents. I've got two presents that I need to wrap up and put in my dad's sack. But little does he know, he's actually the luckiest person this year. I think he's actually got more presents than anyone. To be fair, it is his 50th, so he should. And I said this on a recent podcast with my mum, where my dad's birthday normally only lasts until about midday because his birthday is actually on Christmas Eve. So he is quite unlucky. So his birthday is until like 12, and then it's like Christmas Eve, basically. So we should be spoiled this Christmas. So let me tell you, he is. So I need to wrap up these presents, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm putting off this reel. I'm doing it tomorrow because I just, the thought of doing it all again makes me so angry. So I'm just hoping that I can sleep on it and then do it then. Here again, guys, wrapping up presents and obviously need help with mum. <laughs> currently feels like death. <laughs> no, I literally can't wrap very well myself. I have to have someone do, you know, like the finger thing where they just hold the finger there for you. Because otherwise it just, it just, it just doesn't work. I don't know how mums do it in like 0 0.25 seconds. Back. Why? Alright, I can't move back, friend. <laughs> now, this is why I've got to get my mum to help because I literally, I'm actually taking notes for when I move out and next year I'm wrapping Christmas presents by myself. I need to learn to be able to do these sort of things. I was literally asking mum the other day, I was like, when you was my age, could you wrap presents? And she was like, yes. I was like, great. That just gives me loads of hope. Update, mum and I are about to film a podcast, um, not for our podcast actually, but actually AJ and Curtis's podcast, which I'm actually really excited about. I have listened to it and it's really good and to be honest, I haven't actually spoken to him in ages like I've spoken to him like since he got uh I'm a celeb and stuff but like I haven't yeah which literally last week but I mean like, I haven't actually physically spoken to him in the longest time so it's gonna be really nice I don't really know what we're gonna talk about I guess just like general sort of chit chat so once that's out obviously I'll let you guys know on my socials and stuff but yeah mum's doing it with me they've asked if mum will join in this podcast I don't know if it's like because we have our own podcast now or what but that's gonna be fun and then I think we're either gonna get a takeaway or we're gonna go out for dinner which we do want to go out but like we just cannot be asked so who knows why is it that we have to like duck mum we're going out out not really feeling this angle or anything. Say we're going out, out. We're going out, out. <laughs> no, we're not. But it feels like we are because we haven't been out in the longest time and we're going for dinner together. This is going to be so nice. And now yeah. I can't vlog because I'm my mum's now on the phone. So great. Anyways, um, we're going to go. Oh my god. I cannot believe how busy it is out here. Like, it's actually crazy. It's packed everywhere. So we are going to Nando's. I have anything to say, mum? Oh. Oh, no, she's not aching still. Right, she's I told everyone a million times that she's aching. Yeah, no. That, that's all you've got to say. Um, it, was like, it was a case of cook and stay indoors or get driven somewhere and go out and eat. And I didn't <laughs> want to go out. I thought, yeah, that's the option that I'm doing because oh, my legs can't carry me hardly. Although she tells me how to drive every time I drive. So really, she should have just driven herself. Oh, shouldn't you, um, my hair looks so Those awful. I can't even deal. Amazing. Yeah, they do. It smells insane. Oh, they've just introduced sweet potato wedges. And oh my goodness, they are insane, by the way. I've been ordering loads recently it's annoying though they come as a starter thank you and then this is what i've got really quite boring plain chicken broccoli then i make up for the wedges and mum got half a chicken a lemon and herb spicy rice and corn in the cob cheers mum oh my god i literally look like i've got food around my face but you know when oh my god where did this spot come from what about i know it's really gross really gross i apologize i diet coke anyways everyone keeps tweeting me like oh my god saffron perry tame has gone off the menu well it has but it's actually better because you can actually get your chicken in perry tame sauce now which is so good they literally like drown it it's unreal it's annoying though they don't do it as a side when um, they do actually still serve it weird but you can actually get it as your sauce now so it's not all a loss guys it really isn't also i'd like to say you know when you just don't, oh did i just say that did i just say you know when you don't realize how hungry you are until you start eating no, not say that. Oh, anyways, that's what I meant. I think I just said that to my mum. I literally just like scoffed down all my food, but it was so good. Update. 
I look extremely rough and I have just sat and picked my spots which is probably and so many people are probably cringing right now at the screen it's probably the worst thing you could ever do for your skin I've just gone and done that look at that one that one showed up when I was having Nando's I also look super shiny and red because I've just put moisturizer on really not this sure why I look so flushed though but anyways my room is like I'm actually really quite embarrassed to be fair, I shouldn't even be showing you. My room is so messy, I've been wrapping more presents. Honestly, the bane of my life. Normally I feel like my December vlogs are like really Christmassy, like you know, we're doing so many Christmassy things. Well all I'm doing is at home, working and making videos and pretty much ordering parcels and then forgetting what I've ordered because I've wrapped them up. And I honestly don't really know what I've got anyone, but I've just been wrapping up more presents. I've been online shopping because I just realised I need to get one more thing for Casey. And then I sat and I picked my spots and I debated life and debated if I should hide in my room and I've decided not to. I don't even think I'm going to sleep well because my room is like that messy, but I just, I don't want to do it. I'm also stressed because I ordered something like 10 days ago for my boyfriend for Christmas and it's not arrived but someone in checked and turns out it's now sold out and they've cancelled my order and i didn't even get an email about it so that's fine and it was like his main present as well so i'm just really sad if that's all this mink house but i'm just so annoyed i just feel like maybe today guys is not my day i do not know really my day could be a lot worse not gonna lie some things is like why and i'm so glad that i checked because normally like that's just something i wouldn't even check i'll just wait and i'll probably check like the day before then realize so thank goodness i did actually check now i'm so excited my mom and i are actually buzzing and we absolutely love the brand Lalabo. it's very pricey um but it's absolutely gorgeous and my manager and my manager and my management just sent me my mama candle which is so lovely so i'm saving this for once i've moved house but i'm very excited what a nice present to receive i mean tell you what i'm happy with that i can't even deal guys look at it i'm gonna have to tidy this up and i don't want to on that note, I'm knackered, so I'm ending this very random vlog here. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you all soon. Bye! Are you ready? Ready. Hi everyone, I'm Saffron. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to our brand new podcast of... Mum Mom made me... Just going to say oh, it with right. you. Okay, one, two, three. Mum made, made me, me do, do it. it. <laughs>